Concerns have often been raised about the quality of some members of parliament owing to some debates and approval of certain bills, among others on the floor of the House. The duties of the legislators, which include oversight, representation and legislative, according to many, require experience. But in Ghana's parliament, that may not be the case. In almost every election year, a number of MPs are voted out for new ones. This, some have argued, is no good for the growth of parliament and goes a long way to affect the quality of work. But for the majority leader, or say Chairman Sabonzu, political parties to some extent are to be blamed. Another major issue, and this one it has to do with the political parties, how people get selected to represent parties in the constituencies and then win their way to parliament. Increasingly, people are buying their way to parliament. If we must be honest with ourselves, monetization is taking center stage in our politics. Over monetization, as you say, because there's no way that people don't spend money. Even the established democracies, people spend money. But there, their understanding of representation is different. So we are increasingly, we are yielding our politics to people with fat wallets. So you see that Every time, at the end of every parliament, we have the peeling off of so many of us. The majority leader urged political parties to own the process of electing MPs to parliament. Within the MPP now, a little over 50% are first-timers. How do you grow your party? How do you grow parliament in that regard? So, so the people who come are inexperienced. They have to learn. And because of that, they are not able to hold the executive to, you know, effective check. Because they have, they themselves, they are now learning. 2024, we're going to have another election. Perish the thought. If we yield to people with fat wallets, the money bags, to again come and take center stage, you'll be diminishing the influence and the power of parliament to really perform their functions. Not only the oversight, but the power of scrutiny of the budget and agreements. In a recent interview with a minority leader, he agreed parliament has failed the Ghanaian people in terms of oversight. Parliament under Article 181 of the Constitution exercises that mandate for and on behalf of the people of Ghana. So it simply means the Parliament of Ghana has failed the people of Ghana. We didn't hold the executive to check to say that don't borrow any longer or borrow at this limit. Evelyn Tinkma, TV3 News, Accra.